Hi, I'm Paul with RackAttack.com, and this is the Yakima Hangtight Vertical Hitch Rack. Here we're featuring the Hangtight 4, which is designed to support up to four bikes. There is also a Hangtight 6, both of which require a Class 3 2-inch receiver hitch on the vehicle. So first, let me direct you to the screen here where we're showing some of the applications starting with a full mountain bike setup for four mountain bikes. You can see how those are, are being carried in that vertical position. Here is an adapter. If you have a dual crown downhill mountain bike, it's built extra heavy duty and wider set. That's sold separately. I'll show you on the rack a special security loop that's integrated into the carrier. There's a bottle opener included on the carrier and I'll direct you where that is. And then also there is a hitch extension made by Yakima that's approved for this carrier in case you need additional clearance for a spare tire on the back of the vehicle. Also there is a swing away called the back swing and this can allow for the entire rack to be swung off to the side uh, to gain access into the back of the vehicle. And then here's a accessory, which is the nine foot SKS cable, and that can be used as your cable, supplementary cable. Now let's direct your attention to the rack itself here. We have it equipped, uh, outfitted currently with a sample loading of a road bike and of a mountain bike. So the idea behind this design is that it allows for this, the bike to be hung from the bars, which have the closest to being universal as any rack. So it's not dependent on the frame, it's not dependent on the wheels. So that gives it the ability to carry the widest possible range of bikes. Here we're showing a road bike and a mountain bike, but it's also suitable for many kids bikes. There is a, there is a wheel um, guidance, which is maximum wheel size of a 29er, and then minimum of a 20 inch wheel size. And the uh, weight capacity is up to 37 pound bikes. So we have it installed onto this vehicle. We'll go ahead and take off these bikes, remove the carrier from the hitch, and show you how it attaches to the hitch, and then also reload those bikes just so you get a feel of how bikes are, are loaded and unloaded. Okay, so the first step, we'll go ahead and direct your attention to this pivoting rear wheel cradle. There's this gray button. I'll just press on that gray button to release. So this strap can accommodate a tire size all the way up to a five inch wide tire. Okay, with that removed, up top, this is where the straps, I've got those released already. You'll notice it has a rubber cushion here and then also rubber cushions where it's making contact with the bars. So let's go ahead and take this off. It's basically just lift and that's about it for removal of the bike. We'll do the same thing with the mountain bike here. So this one, I don't have it strapped on at all at this point. So I'll just lift and pull that off. Okay, so now with the rack unloaded, I can go ahead and remove the rack from the hitch. I don't have it attached currently, just so I can pull it off easily to show how it attaches. So this is a extremely heavy duty design. You can see the, the very thick gauge of this stinger, this tubing. Also, if you look in, inside, you'll see how there is a threaded insertion. Now that threaded part can be positioned to either side. So included is this, this hitch bolt, which is again, very robust hitch bolt with fine threads. So this can be inserted from this side or repositioned and inserted from the opposite side. There's a fastener that allows you to detach it on the side here to reposition it for whichever side offers the best clearance for you. Okay, so construction wise, yes, heavy gauge steel throughout. So very heavy duty construction overall, very robust welding. So designed for extra heavy duty use. Okay, so let's go ahead and lift this back up into place. I'll just insert it into the receiver, get it started. Now what I'll do at this point is 
I'll be inserting it into the hole here. So what I'll be doing is using the hitch bolt as a feeler so that as I push forward, it'll find the hole where it needs to thread into. And then I can begin threading that on. Now, with, for the assembly of this carrier, Yakima provides a really good assortment of tools in order to assemble this carrier. However, what's not included is the tool that's used to tighten this bolt. So you will need to budget for a 15 16th wrench, as you see here, or you can purchase, or if you have a half inch socket driver with a 15 16th socket. So this would probably be the most cost effective. These run about $20 or so. So budget that into your purchase. And here I can use the ratchet end of it. And so the, the goal here was to provide a very strong, robust method of attachment to the hitch with the minimal amount of movement and, and the combination of the very heavy gauge stinger, the heavy duty bolt, the fine threads, it all goes towards making this a very strong connection to the hitch that you can rely upon. Okay, so I got that good and tight. Now the next step is on the opposite side. Here we have the other end of the hitch bolt coming through. This is the Yakima hitch lock. So it's designed to where you can operate this in two different ways. Currently it's in the locked position, which means it's pre-locked. And so I can just snap that on and it will lock. Or I can use the other method where you would have to have a key to lock it on. So whichever way is more convenient is probably your best bet to do the, the unlocked version. That way you're ensured that before it's locked, you know you have access to lock lock it with the key. Now you also have this cover, dust cover, to keep moisture and dust out of that SKS lock cylinder. So SKS stands for same key system, which means that that lock core can be removed and matched up to other Yakima SKS compatible accessories. For example, the nine foot SKS cable that we looked at on the screen a moment ago can be key matched to this hitch lock for security convenience. Okay, let's take a look at the release pedal here. This allows for access into the back of a vehicle, so you can just step on that, and the entire rack will tip down, and that will give you access to the back of most hatches as well as most tailgates on trucks. And then you just push back up, now it's important to note that feature is not offered while bikes are loaded onto the carrier. Okay, so also, depending on the wheelbase of the bicycles being loaded, this upper mast can be adjusted to different heights. It can be stowed at this position where there's a pre-drilled hole, but there's additional positions when you remove this bolt and reinsert it into a lower bolt, which is currently down within this lower portion of the mast. So it has height adjustability to accommodate different wheelbase lengths for bikes. Now we can also look here at a closer look at the rear wheel cradle. The pivoting aspect of this allows for it to automatically adjust to different wheelbases on the bike that you're loading. And you have that very strong ratchet mechanism. Now if we can focus up top here, you have the cradles where you have a, the rubber and also rubber here, all going to protect the contact points on your bicycle handlebars. Also, if we can look at the additional holes, so there is some adjustability in these upper cradles to allow for repositioning. You can reduce this from a four to a three bike version in order to provide extra compatibility when you're mixing different bikes that may have contact between one another. Okay, so at this step, we can go ahead and reload those bikes. 
So when you reload the bikes, you will bring it to the vertical position. And find the best grab points that you've got. And you aim the handlebars into those cradles. Now, the cradle itself will fully support the bicycle. So I've let go of the bicycle completely and the cradle is fully supporting the bike. So that way I, I have both hands that I can use to route the strap into place. And I'm being, on this bike, there happens to be quite a few cables. So I'm being particularly sensitive to make sure that I avoid clamping over those cables. And then I can pull that tight. You notice there's a nice piece of rubber there. Same with the opposite side. If you can, avoid the cables. But also knowing that this is, those straps are there just to prevent the, is, uh, minimize the movement of the handlebars. Now here at the bottom, for example, if this rear wheel cradle were out of alignment, when you rest the bike, it automatically adjusts to the wheelbase of that bicycle. Okay, now I can run that strap through and that bike is ready for transport. So now let's grab the road bike and it's the same, same method. Just bike hangs from the, from that same cradle and and below we've got the rear wheel cradle, which again automatically adjusts to the wheelbase length. And you run this strap through, same at the top. Okay, and now the second bike. Okay, so now let's look at some of those features we discussed earlier. Here on the upper portion of this mast, you have a, a loop where you can run your own cable through in order to provide security of locking the bikes to the carrier itself. So that can be done with your own cable or one of Yakima's cables uh, to allow for the convenience of their same key system. In addition, Yakima provides a security um, strap, not security from theft, but just a safety security strap that you can use to fully secure the bikes to the to the rack as a as a safety preventative in case something comes loose on the bikes that would allow them to fall off the rack okay so those are the key features of the Yakima hang tight vertical bicycle carrier this product and the full line of Yakima products are available at rackattack.com Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options and all the accessories that we've discussed in this video. And if you have any questions or comments on this carrier in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. We upload new videos weekly and we have over 2,000 rack related videos. That's all for this one for now and thanks for watching. Oh,